Hi guys, welcome to the Jam and Stamper, and I bet you can guess what day it is. It's Paper Pumpkin Day. I would have filmed this yesterday, but my paper pumpkin came super late, um, so I didn't get a chance to film it. But I hope you enjoy this video, so I'm just going to start uh, show you everything. So here is our kit. This is what, it, what our cards are going to look like today. And you guys, I am so excited because I know I have a lot of customers who like shaker cards. Um, I love shaker cards and that is what we're making today and they are super simple. So I am excited to do this with you and I have a confession to make. I actually did most of them, but I'm going to do one with you and I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay. So we're just going to start. Uh, let me show you what our stamp set looks like. Okay. This is our stamp set and I actually love this because there's three thank yous on it. I often need a thank you card. Uh, often, often. So there's three basically that are thank yous on here, which that makes me so happy. Um, and this is actually the main one we're gonna be working with right here. It, it's like a marbling. Um, it looks really cool. Um, and we're gonna use the thanks to you. So let's just get started right away, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is punch out a couple things and stamp them. Okay, so yeah, you can see I've done a lot of punching already. Okay, so we're gonna punch out, this is our banner. Punch that out first. My trash can's making a, a shadow, sorry guys. Okay, this is gonna go behind our banner. Pop that out. Okay, and then we have three different colored squares. There is, this is kind of a, that kind of reminds me of pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pie. Um, there is this one that's kind of a rusty color. Oops. A rusty color right there. Okay. And this is kind of a mustardy color right here. Right. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is actually on the three squares, we are going to stamp with this marbly bad guy. Yeah, you can see I've used him. And the Stampin' Spot color that we got this month is Chocolate Chip, which makes me happy because I don't have this color either. This is a great way, doing Paper Pumpkin is a great way to get a lot of stamp pad colors without spending a lot of extra money um, because you get a different one each month. And they're pretty good about not repeating them throughout the year. Okay, so we're gonna first take this and remember, with a big stamp like this and a little Stampin' Spot like this, the easiest way to ink is upside down, okay? And actually, if you get the Stampin' Spots, it's best to store them ink pad down like this so that the ink pulls to the front of the pad so that every time you stamp, you have good color. Okay, little insider tip for you. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp this on here. And another little tip, you're gonna wanna back, want back background paper because the stamp is a little bit larger than the squares, okay? Let's just peel that off the back. See how cool that marbling effect is? I love the stamp. This is cool. I may have to use this, may have to do some alter alternate videos for you um, with this stamp using it as a background because it's so cool. I love it. To you, okay, and I'm gonna stamp that on this one right here. I'm going to ink this bad boy up. Right there. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why that is in my head today. Okay. Thanks to you. Well, you know, I stamped it a little high. I'm going to do it again. I'm just flip it over and do it again. This one has the same color on both sides, which is nice. So, you know, every piece of paper has two sides. I say that to you often because I often make mistakes, but that's okay. We can correct those mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to lower it a little bit. A little lower. That looks better. Okay. 
So now we are done stamping for this card, okay? The next thing we're going to do, I'm just gonna move these out of the way for now. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach these to our card front. So here is our card front. Kind of reminds me of the color crumb cake. I'm not exactly sure what color it is. Um, you do know paper pumpkin comes with adhesives, okay? It comes with these glue dots. So you can use any adhesive you want if you have your own adhesive. If you have like the Stampin' Up! mini glue dots, sometimes those are a little easier to work with because of the roll and you can just stick it on it. You can use those too. You can use Fast Fuse if you want. I'm just, gonna, I'm just using my snail adhesive. It just is easier for me. Okay, so I am just um, lining up the colors the way I want. I don't need to. Um, let's move it out of the way because we're going to move on to our next thing for a minute, okay? Um, our next thing is the window portion of our card, which is so fun. Okay, so they give you a window sheet that's pre-cut. You don't have to cut it at all. Um, and then this is the rest of our card front. So you're just going to pop out the leaf portions, okay? Now, on the other ones I made, I did some backwards, but that's okay because it still looks okay either way. So what you wanna do is actually flip it over and you're gonna put glue dots around around the edges of where the um, leaves are around here. I'm gonna just take my snail and do a line here, a little line in between, a little line there, and then one here on the edge to make sure that it really sticks, okay? And then you're, oh, I lost my window sheet, there we go. Take your window sheet, line it up around the edge of where the leaf cutouts are. Okay, so now we have a window sheet. If you look at it from the other side, you can see window sheet pops through. So this is the front of our card. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work with our foam strips. Now, I've showed you guys the foam strips with my shaker card. I love the foam strips. Love them. Um, these are great that they give these to you to work with if you've never worked with them before. So there's two sizes, okay? There's a long size and there's a short size. You're gonna take your short size, you're gonna need two of them for each card. They give you just enough to do all your cards, okay? So don't mess up with your phone strips. You can always, I mean, I guess you could always cut the edges if you need to, okay? So now we're gonna line this one up, the short one up on one side. Okay, and then to make it so it, uh, I don't have any gaps, I'm going to do a long one right here, right flush up next to the side one, okay? Long one. And then I'm going to do another long one. Right above the leaves. Okay. And if they move a little, that's fine. They don't have to be perfectly straight because no one's going to actually see them. And then the other long one on the top of this card or on the top of the back of this card right here. Okay. Another long one. And then our other short one. Just going to flush it up right here on the side. Make sure it's flush against the shaker portion is more important than this top one. So if it's not perfect up here, that's okay. But you wanna make sure it's flush all the way around here so that when you're shaking your card, sequins don't fall out, okay? Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for just a second. Just gonna move that over there for a second. Okay, now they give you three bags of sequins. I actually poured all three into one bag. So that, um, because there was different sizes, there was like large, medium, and small, and I wanted them all to be mixed in with my cards. So now, this is a semi-tricky part, but it's not too bad, okay? Um, and I was trying to make sure that I didn't use too many sequins in my other cards, but I have a ton left, and I might actually put a ton in this one. Um, just kind of try to spread out your sequins so that you know that you have enough for all your cards, okay? 
This is a lot of sequins. This is gonna really shake. them closer together. Just want to use all my sequins. I don't want to waste anything. Are you like me that you don't like to waste things? Okay. So we're going to put these all together in a line in here. This is going to really shake you guys. It's going to be awesome. Do you guys like shaker cards? I love shaker cards. I love shaker cards. They just make me happy. Very, very happy. So that's about as good as it's going to get. We may have a few pieces behind other portions, but that's okay. All right. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to peel off the back of our foam strips and line it up over the colored portion. Okay. So the foam strips just have a little piece of paper on them right there. Just peel that off. Make sure when you're putting your foam strip on the back of this, you don't accidentally peel it off. I did that with a couple of mine. Um, and then I had sticky hands when I was trying to work with them. But don't peel it off until you're ready to use it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna line this up along. I'm gonna put it a little bit above the edge because I want a little bit of color. And you'll actually see the static start attaching to the window cling. Oh my gosh, yeah, you guys, this one really, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh like that, but I put a ton of sequins in this card. Oh my gosh, look how pretty though. Look how pretty that is. Guys, I hope you like it. Okay, next thing we're working with is our twine. It says about 12 inches. Um, I, I kind of eyeballed it with the past couple of them. Okay, just about 12 inches. And chop it off there. Okay, and then we're gonna take this. We're almost done with our card guys, by the way. Um, I'm going to take this and wrap it around the end of this banner portion. And I, to make it easier for me, I tie a double knot. That's what I did with all my other ones. Sorry, sorry, okay. So now we're gonna take and we're going to attach the thanks to this. So I'm going to, you can use the glue dots again um, that come with it. They are, they work. Um, I'm just going to do a line of my snail along the back of this. I'm sorry if we got extreme close up now. And I kind of slide this under the edge here so that the bow is kind of tied on the whole thing, okay? And then we're almost done, we're gonna attach it to her card and then we'll be done. So I'm also going to take my snail and I'm going to take three small strips. Um, because this is kind of textured, you want to make sure it really sticks to it. Um, I'd put the glue dots if you're going to use them around the edges. And I actually am going to try to put snail there over my twine to hold my hind twine in place. And then it will stick better for me. Okay. And then thanks to you. There is, I'm going to move my camera back a little. There is our cute little card with a ton of stuff in it. Oh, and they come with envelopes. Let me show you the envelopes. I forgot about that. Come with this fun envelope. And look at how it looks quilted inside. You guys see how fun that is? Look at that. That is so cool. Okay. Yeah, I love this card. Um, I hope you guys love this card too. I hope you had fun watching me make it. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.